What's up everyone? This is Super Flashlight Rail Productions. Well, my summer's going, well, pretty fast. So, in today's new episode, I'm going to react to NS Slug Union Engines. NS Slug Union Engines. So I better go react to them right now. This'll make me so happy! Well, here's my first NS Slug Union engine, NS919. It looks kind of like, well, kind of looks like a rectangular NS Diesel short little engine shunter with a caution light. It's not really like a mollusk slug, not that kind of slug. I think they call it that because it kind of almost looks like it. I'm not sure what they use those slug engines for. Maybe just to help go around sharp turns or just to give them extra power over, excuse me, long distances. I think. Think. This was my very first one in February. From February 2000, from February 2019. You can see my shadow and my annoying orange toy. So, I want to move on to the next one. And there it is. And there's another one. I'm not sh Okay, 837. That's a good number. This was from March. And I can see it over there. I can see you, Mr. Slug, right behind the trees in the crew yard. There you are. And that's when you were moving some cars. This is getting kind of boring. Just watching them move cars is just pretty boring. I think this might be the same one for March. Wow, NS919. I think that's from that's from June, I think. And there it is in the distance, so I think that's just a regular engine. Oh, that was when I was getting another train. Yeah, yeah, no defects. Okay, I'm not really sassy, though I am a little bit sassy. I think I just barely saw it behind the trees. There it is. Alright. I'm bored. I want to see the ones. Here, Here's one from July. I didn't know the number, but it's got its headlight on with two engines parked. Once again, that's a ama- that's a- once a- once again, that's amazing, but boring. And that might be the same. As a matter of fact, it is the same. Parked on the office, so... I mean, parked next to the office. So, so... All right, this one's from November, moving some cars, so... No, well, that's still too boring. This one was from after Thanksgiving. I think I barely saw it. Never mind. This one was from Thanksgiving. Just after Thanksgiving. Have to see what that number is. It's behind the auto rack. Behind these auto racks. Or car carriers. Oh, so, oh, so it's 937, I think. That's a good number. Hmm. Oh, sorry. 
And that's the same one again, but this time it's parked next to some engines. You know, this is really boring. I wish I re I wish I would react to something that's exciting. Whoa, there it is. Right at the intersection. Okay, okay. I want to I want to see the one from 2020. All right, same one from from May this was from May 2000, May 2020, and this is the same one, the same place where I caught, oh my gosh, the first training responders parked in Hopewell. This is the very first time I had a red haired Tachinia, and special interest. So there it is, parked, well, parked separately with an NS engine, right there. That looks amazing, but cool, but it's not as exciting as the first training responders over there, which is 5642. Oh well, that's about it. Whoops. Alright. That's about it with the NS Slug Union engines. I'll react to some more- I'll- I will react- I will react to some more when I get a chance to see some more. Then I'll react to some more. So that's it. About it. Okay. Well, it's easy to get slug engines in Virginia, but kind of hard to get them in Pennsylvania. At least I had a couple last year, M1 this year, hopefully I'll get some more this year. So, well, like and subscribe, see you next week, and enjoy the rest of your summer, with a smile.